the purpose of the centre really is to um, provide a supported environment for all the wounded Indian and Sikh, the veterans and the families in whatever manifestation that requirement may come. Mm -hmm. So the focus is to make them independent and to go out and transition, but knowing if they happen to come under difficulties in say two years time, uh, they leave here with the confidence that they can come back here and we will support them again. We have an interim centre here from which we're providing fantastic support. Um, the new facility will be online in about May next year um, and I think that new facility will be um, enhanced much more than what we have in the interim facility. We do some fantastic work from here but with the new facility it will be much larger, we can accommodate more people the facility will be much more uh, holistic in terms of what we will have in there. We have a gymnasium, we have IT, we have lecture rooms, break, breakout rooms. So because of all that, we will see some great stuff coming from there. The courses that are on offer at Phoenix House are courses designed to support soldiers who are moving, who are in a transition from armed forces to civilian street. So essentially we're looking at how we identify an individual's interests, an individual's potential, um, and putting in support structures in place to help them to get to a specific outcome. So they actually have a system in place here which allows them to look at different options and then make a decision, a well-informed decision, having considered different options. The support programme lays on a range of activities, social, cultural, physical and sporting activities. There's a range of benefits uh, as well as uh, the morale factor which you, you'll hear the banter that's going on behind me now within the team of residents within Phoenix House. Coming out on these activities is very good for morale. The guys are often talking about some of the issues that they might have uh, and generally enjoy the banter uh, within the team. When most of the guys and girls first come into Phoenix House, most of them don't know the other individuals, but very quickly, um, normally within a couple of days, there's a real bond developed between those individuals staying at the centre for, for longer than a week. My name's Kelly Bostock and I'm a Baffleback Recreational and Adventure Therapist here at Phoenix House. I organise and help to run all the activities that we do here um, in and around the centre. There's a variety of activities, some of them um, more strenuous than others, ranging from archery, clay pigeon shooting, we often go walking in the dales, which is lovely. Uh, there's art sessions that happen here at the centre, photography, um, cycling, a variety of things. Basselback is very much about encouraging people to sort of dig for those those qualities that they, they do still have inside them, like leadership and courage and and team spirit and things like that and those can be achieved through through smaller challenges which are still still quite a, a massive achievement. I've done um, the Life Skills 2 course which was um, preceded by a CV course which was a pilot course here at Phoenix House run by Barclays Bank and absolutely fantastic course working a lot with Barclays mm -hmm. and we actually built a really strong CV up. People here once you actually start talking people open up and you see a multitude of just different what people have actually put up with and it makes you a stronger person. I was sat at home for maybe a year and a half not knowing this facility was here, twiddling my thumbs, not knowing what to do, not even knowing that there's a lot of people out there that are exactly the same as me. And coming here, seeing all these people, all with the particular strengths and everything, gives you a lot of inward strength yourself. I'm John Pearson, I served 10 years in the Scots Guards, which is an Army Infantry Regiment. I was diagnosed with PTSD in August last year, so I came again to get the help I need. I was sick at home until uh, the proc got in touch, and then it was about March time this year. I obviously came in and just started going doing the week activities and that, like, so, and I've done a couple of courses as well. I thought I was going to leave the Army with nothing. But now I've got a CV, I've gone to job interviews. I was hoping to get on at Nissan next month and start working for them before I leave. You feel as if you're left on your own when, you, when you, like, you're at home by yourself, but you come here and lads, you can actually sit and talk about it to lads because they know exactly what you're going through, whereas other people don't, you know what I mean? You try to tell like, maybe family or loved ones and you think, you think you're talking to a wall because they don't understand. And I sat down with a couple of lads the other night and we just cracked on and then you walk away and everything's just been lifted off your shoulders. Helps a lot.